Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Short Clips 1, and today we're playing part 3 of The Walking Dead, Satan Sinners Chapter 2 Retribution. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification button, and like and comment down below. Without further ado, let's get into today's video. Tourists, we've been staring at that door for hours hoping you'd come through it. Damn good to see you. No pleasantry, Sonny. Let's just get down to business. All right, fair enough. Did you get an audience with the Padre? An audience? <laughs> Dude's a priest, not royalty. Can it, Dez? What did Father Carter have to say? Uh, He's in. He did have a few stipulations. He gave me a letter to give to you. That son of a bitch. All right, put it in the drawer. I will put it in. Man of God, my ass. He's a wolf, this guy. Shifty, but fuck it. He can have it his way. With the preacher bringing his exiles to the table, we will have people in every corner of this city. There's a whole lot of demand out there, tourists, and everybody in Nola's gonna know that the Pond King always delivers. It doesn't sound as cool as you think. Keep quiet, Dad. I'm doing business with the tourists. You'll get your cut once the goods start flowing through here from our exile friend. With everybody still dazed from the shitstorm in Old Town and the reserve fiasco, this trade network is the perfect plan at the perfect time. Supplies have never been harder to come by. Why the supply shortage? Gotta think the reserve had something to do with it. Everybody had it in their heads that there was this buried treasure out there. And they all broke their necks trying to find it. Then, poof, it evaporates into thin air. The sign that we're all fucked. You need to shift your attitude, kid. Everybody's got old town on the brain. Yeah, well, it was a fucked up situation. Some lunatic has figured out how to keep the bells ringing for days. What's the point of that? Slaughtering a bunch of innocent people, then making it nearly impossible to ever set foot in that stretch of NOLA ever again. If chaos like that ain't just bad for business, it's bad for living. Hope mama gets a hold of that fucker. I heard it was some tower guy who went rogue. Yeah, yeah, but you know what they say, pumpkin. Truth travels slowly. Rumors have wings. You're like the only one alive who says stuff like that. Cut the shit, Dez. I mean it. Just make sure my cut is substantial, Sonny. Then we won't have a problem. I'll tell you what I tell all my associates. I haven't operated this fine establishment for 28 years through a fucking apocalypse even by breaking my promises. You've got my word, and my word is good as solid gold. It's true. You don't say that to everybody. That's enough, Dez. Listen, while you're here, I got a favor to ask you. It would help the trade network out a whole lot. Our old friend Henri, he had stuff hidden all over this town. Ladies' man. Had a dalliance with a different lady every week. So he set himself up with a private suite at the Hotel Eclair. Every time he changed the door code to the studio, he'd leave it there for whoever he had coming around. You find room 212, you find the code. Room 212. Got it. One last thing. We're not gonna be keeping regular business hours from here on out. Security reasons. I'm sure you get it. We'll shout out on the radio when the doors are open, so stay tuned in. Good luck to you, tourists. See you, man. Okay, so now we need to travel to Hotel Clear, so I'll see you guys there. Funny, huh? <laughs> Okay, so we need to grab the code, which is 4302. Okay, so the code is 4302. Okay, so um, go through here. Um, yeah, climb this ladder. Up here. And then there. So we need to grab this. Jump down here. And then grab the battery. And then we're good. Fuck, okay. The tourist. In the flesh. Shit. Who the fuck are you? I am Garrick. Uh... Who? You haven't given me much thought. But I have been thinking a lot about you. You're not as I expected. Hmm. Is that right? What did you expect? A human wrecking ball. I'd go with force of nature. 
but that might be overdoing it. No one told me you had a sense of humor. So you've heard a lot about me, but I don't know anything about you. I persuaded the Pawn King to set this up. I suspected you wouldn't meet with me otherwise. You knew my wife, May, and I need to speak with you about her. I knew May. I appreciate your honesty. Most people will lie when they find themselves cornered. Perhaps you have heard the tales about me. That I am mad, a cannibal. <laughs> the tower convinced me I was executed for my supposed crimes. A burning pile of lies. The perpetrators, all of them, will pay. And their numbers are dwindling. Rapidly. You were the last to see May alive. You know her fate. Last I saw, she was alive. Alive? You expect me to believe that? Look, if she's dead, I'm sorry. I had nothing to do with it. Lies exactly as I suspected. But the truth no longer matters. My decision has been made. You will face retribution. Shit happens to people all the time. Innocent people. It's not fair, but it's the fucked up world we live in. I'm grateful we had the chance to speak, tourist. To put a face to a name. Our paths will cross again. That shiver you feel will be my breath on your neck. That knot in your stomach. My footsteps drawing near. That screaming nightmare. The sound of my voice. You will know the dread you have wrought upon my family. And then, when I have seen enough of your suffering, you will face the truth of your depravity. For now, I will let you live. But only for as long as it amuses me. Okay, time to leave. Well, that's gonna be it for today's video. Hit that notification button and like and comment down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!